an emotional homecoming for Michael B. Jordan. How does this make you feel, man, to be able to do this hometown? Um, honestly, it's, it's a big deal. The New Jersey native hosting a special screening of his new film, Black Panther in Newark. But to be able to come back to my hometown, especially on this project, it, it means the world to me. I, when I was driving in, you know, I'm, I'm pointing out, you know, where I used to go to high school, you know what I'm saying, the different, you know, different streets. I remember walking, catching the bus, and it, it just kind of takes me back, you know, you know, to when I was a kid, just everyday grind, going to high school, you know what I'm saying, chasing a dream. Michael with the dream role. Yeah, it's all mine now. Playing the villain in the new Marvel movie. I'm not your typical bad guy that wants to blow up the world for the sake of blowing up the world. He has a method to his madness. You understand why Killmonger feels the way he feels. And, I and he hopes the superhero will leave African-American kids feeling super inspired. Well, hopefully this movie can give you know, a little inspiration, give them a little motivation, and, and, and uh, you know, help drive their ambition to you know, get beyond these city walls. And while he muscled up for the big screen blockbuster, because you got big for, for Panther. I did, I did. I'm slimming down a little bit. He's about to get in fighting shape, returning to the ring with Sylvester Stallone and Creed II. I'm, I'm starting to live like a fighter, changing the diet, working out a lot, drinking a lot of water, and uh, you know, just putting the time in the ring. The time for Black Panther is here. I'm going to burn it all. The movie in theaters today. <laughs> One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.